This tutorial will take you through the front dash screens for the McCormick X7 series ProDrive tractors. Now the integrated front display system is, a, is an interactive uh, LCD console located in the front dash of these McCormick X7 tractors and it allows the operator to customize certain functions of the tractor to meet his needs. Now the display is divided into really three sections. The upper left section tells you the transmission status, uh, mainly uh, the travel direction of the transmission, as well as the gear and range that it's in, and the ground speed. It'll also tell you if you are in manual or automatic shifting mode. The lower left screen is dedicated to the PTO, and it will show the PTO speed selected, as well as the uh, rotational speed. Um, it would show the front PTO um, gear and speed as well if the tractor is equipped. The right side, the complete right side of the display, is the interactive section that allows the operator to scroll through screens and uh, set certain functions. And that's what we're going to go through in this video. So this is sort of the main um, screen, if you will. It displays a simple clock as well as the machine hours. You use the rotary knob and two black buttons located in the right side console uh, to scroll through the screens. So as I scroll in one direction, I now come to my rear three-point hitch screen. At the top, it shows me the height of the three-point hitch as a percentage. So right now it's at 96% of its total height. And then at the bottom, it shows the um, auto PTO function and at which height will the PTO shut off and then come back on as the rear hitch is raised and lowered. If I scroll again, this is the level of DEF, that's diesel exhaust fluid that's in the tank, so it is just a gauge to keep the operator informed to make sure that they fill up when needed. Uh, this is a shuttle modulation screen. It allows the operator to adjust how aggressively the tractor changes directions from forward to reverse. It is adjustable on the go. Here we have a, um, a land recording uh, feature. The, the, an operator can set the width of an implement and then can record distance traveled, acres covered, how much fuel used, how much time spent in the field, and they can record this for up to four different fields. Uh, this is a calibration screen that can be used by a service technician to calibrate certain things such as the rear PTO, the transmission, the rear three-point hitch. Um, this is a hydraulic screen that allows the operator to adjust um, the rear hydraulic spool valves. Uh, you can adjust the flow rates both in and out. You can also set a timer so that the spool valve will run for a certain amount of time. Uh, each valve can be adjusted individually and each valve can actually be locked individually. Uh, this is an instantaneous measure of the machine's performance. Um, at this given moment, how much fuel is being used, and at this given moment, how much uh, acreage could be covered at any given time. This is, allows the operator to adjust the brightness of the display. And this is where the operator sets the my switch um, that's located in the multifunction control handle at the bottom. Uh, here is where the operator selects the functionality for that my switch, whether it be a declutch button, turn on and off the diff lock, the four wheel drive, or even the auto power shift feature. This is modulation for the rear PTO. The operator can actually set how aggressively the rear PTO engages uh, when turned on. Here is the auto power shift function that allows the transmission to shift automatically through gears and ranges. Um, it can be adjusted using a knob located in the underneath the elbow pad of the armrest for eco versus power mode, so I can actually adjust it in the armrest by twisting a knob. And then the bottom functions there where it says start and stop, that allows me to set a minimum and maximum speed for which the tractor will shift through. So it will not ever go below uh, power shift 3, range 1. It will not go above power shift or range 6, power shift 4. This screen is the headland management function screen. It allows the operator to, to program several different tractor functions to operate with a single button press. Um, there are multiple sequences that can be recorded and recalled, and they are activated with a simple button in the multifunction control handle. And then we are back to the main home screen. 
there are additional features that can be accessed using a Diag tool and a uh, certified technician to go through and um, view error codes and the like. So this is the tutorial for the front dash display unit on the McCormick X7 series with ProDrive transmission. For more information, please go to our website at www.mccormicna.com.